there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is Photoshop's screen modes. We have three different screen modes that we can make use of here inside Photoshop. What we're seeing right now, by the way, what we've been working inside this whole time is the default screen mode, which is called the standard screen mode. Where can we go to access these different screen modes? Well, all the way down at the very bottom of the toolbox, this guy right here. Now, don't click on this guy. Click and hold with your mouse, and you'll get a little flyout here. There's that standard screen mode, which you and I are set on right now. Now, let's go and check out the other two. We have full screen mode with menu bar and full screen. Let's go and check them out. So I'm going to go full screen mode with menu bar. Go ahead and choose that option. And what happens is actually kind of weird. It looks like the Photoshop interface kind of fragments a little bit. We no longer have what's referred to as the application frame all the way around the, the overall Photoshop interface. We just sort of have the panels kind of floating now over on the right-hand side. We have the panels down at the bottom. The toolbox doesn't extend all the way down to the bottom of the screen, this sort of stuff. But as a matter of fact, this screen view is actually my preferred method of working inside Photoshop, and I will explain why in just a moment. Let's go and take a look at the full screen mode, the third option that we have here. So back down to the bottom of the toolbox, click and hold with your mouse, and let's go full screen mode. When I choose full screen mode, I get this message here. In full screen mode, the panels are going to be hidden. They can be accessed on the sides of the screen or revealed by pressing tab. Oh, well, we know that trick already. So let's go ahead and click on full screen. And what happens here is the entire screen basically blacks out except for our, our image itself, right? But now if I bring my cursor over to the left edge of my screen, I trigger the toolbox over on that extreme left edge. Or same thing happens over on the right edge of my screen. I trigger my panels, which, of course, I can go and access and work inside just as we did before, right? But the idea here is that everything's collapsing away so I can focus, I can zero in on just my image. Now, how the heck are we supposed to get back to the regular old standard view? Well, try hitting your F key on your keyboard, just F by itself, and that'll bring you back to the standard screen mode. As a matter of fact, tapping the F key is a way to toggle through these different screen modes, right? Or, of course, you can come down to the bottom of the toolbox and simply click on this icon, and that's going to flip us between these different screen modes as well. That's why I had you click and hold with your mouse rather than just single clicking. So let me explain why. I'm going to go all the way back to standard mode here. This is our, our default mode, of course. I want to explain why I prefer the full screen with menu over the standard. You can use the full screen as well if you like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my space bar and I'm going to try dragging either to the left or to the right of my image. And as you can see, I'm locked in. I'm at 32.66%. I've hit Control or Command 0 to fit my image into the, into the window. And I can't move around. I'm kind of locked in here, right? Well, check this out. I'm going to tap the F key once, which puts me into the full screen mode with menu, screen view. And now I'm going to hold down the space bar and drag to the left or right. And now I can do stuff like this, which I really like. I mean, this really fits with the way I like to work because now I can get into perhaps some of my panels and I can start working, but maybe I want to zero in on a specific area of my image, zoom in on that spot, but I'm also working inside layers at the same time and I want to be able to see exactly what's happening as I'm working along, right? So again, this is my own personal preferred method of working, but you're more than welcome to explore through the different screens modes and see which one really sort of fits the way that you like to work. Again, tapping the F key on your keyboard to toggle through Photoshop's screen modes.